This is uh, an amazing achievement in American history. In fact, uh, I said on a press conference at four in the morning after it launched that this was the dawn of a new era in American human spaceflight, and really in the spaceflight for the entire world because of all of our international partners on the International Space Station. But this achievement um, spans many administrations. It spans many NASA administrators. I want to start by, by thanking Mike Griffin, who was the NASA administrator that really got this program going during the George W. Bush administration. And of course, Charlie Bolden was the administrator for eight years under President Barack Obama. He kept this program strong. Uh, and then, of course, Robert Lightfoot was uh, immediately preceded me. And here we are today with, uh, with this amazing achievement and, and the current president, President Trump, his his budgets for NASA have been as strong um, as, as, as they have been in my adult lifetime. So this really is a, an American achievement that spans many, um, many generations of NASA administrators and in fact, you know, over a decade of work by the NASA team. So I want to congratulate, first of all, the NASA Commercial Crew Program, all of the amazing engineers that have been involved from the very beginning. I want to thank, of course, the amazing achievement of SpaceX and their entire team and the vision of Elon Musk and, and what he has done to help really rejuvenate uh, this, this very inspirational moment for uh, the, this new era in American human spaceflight. So this is really a, a, an, ama an amazing achievement for all of America, but it's not just for all of America right now. It goes back in time. There are so many people that, that deserve credit. And, um, and, and, and really what's unique now is that NASA can be a customer. And, and I know there's a long way to go. We, we launched an uncrewed spacecraft here. Of course, we have Demo-2, which will be a crewed spacecraft. Uh, and between now and then, we have uh, a, a pad abort that we, that we need to test as well. And so these are all, these are all capabilities that, um, that, that are leading to a day where we are launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Um, I have heard, when I was a member of Congress, I heard over and over again, how do we keep constancy of purpose? Because it seems like we lurch from one administration to the next and changing visions and changing budgets. How do we keep constancy? Well, this is a perfect example of a program. Um, when we talk about these things that NASA does, it takes, in many cases, decades to achieve this kind of capability. Um, and the constancy of purpose here for all of these years um, is important. But now NASA can be a customer. We can be one customer of many customers for human space flight in what we believe will be a very robust commercial marketplace for space operations. And we're gonna have numerous providers that are gonna compete on cost and innovation. And of course, that's how we're able to do what we've seen now where rockets are being reused. The idea that we can reuse rockets and drive down cost and increase access to space, just an amazing capability for our country, an amazing capability for the world. Just like we reuse airplanes, there's gonna come a day when we're reusing rockets and space flight is gonna become more routine. We're not there yet, we have a long way to go. Uh, but this is an amazing, an amazing achievement in this path um, to really a sustainable return to the moon, quite frankly which is my charge the president has given me to get us back to the moon. So we're driving down costs for low Earth orbit. We're commercializing low Earth orbit, not just with launch, but also eventually with space stations, with human activities, where NASA can be a customer for human activities in low Earth orbit. And then we can use the taxpayer resources um, that, that are bestowed upon us. We can use those resources to do exploration, to go further, to go back to the moon sustainably, where we can stay at the moon and ultimately go on to Mars. And, and this, is, this is one small piece in that really grand vision, but it is, this is no small piece. This is an amazing achievement in the history of the United States of America, and it just really exemplifies what we can achieve when we maintain that constancy of purpose.